welcome back everyone for the next part of the Suna Q2. Um, I just want to apologize to everyone because I'm stupid. Remember the old projector I got from from Theodore's Quest and Neo Camo City? Well, actually, I was supposed to go to the Velvet Room afterwards to unlock a special reward. Looks like you actually brought us something useful for once, inmates. Hand it over. See, they can use the old projector. How intriguing. This may help us to improve the functionality of the Velvet Room. Wait here. A few minutes later. <sighs> it was somewhat difficult, but this should prove useful to your but Helpful. <laughs> you can now use three layer fusion. This will require three personas to initiate, since during fusions they also use old projectors to let the film overlap over each other to create a new persona. And now that we have another projector, they are able to do three at the same time, which unlocks a lot of other fusion options. Don't take our help for granted, inmate. But you do it for free. Oh, and... We got Sinner's Cap, which is going to unlock a special fusion, a fusion like Anmuch. And Hara of Inaba, that's a rabbit if I remember right. I think we can also check it out, right? Special fusion. Yeah, it's a rabbit and a crocodile thingy. This one is actually not so bad because it has Marzio and what's that other thing over there? Low chance to add splash to single target attack. That would actually work nicely, especially with regeneration. I need to think about that. And yeah, the rabbit isn't that good. Anyways, it's time to return to the movie. And we are back where we left off. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, oh, uh, oh, I'm getting enemy readings just beyond there. Be careful. In that case, we could return to the theater and recruit if we need it. Actually, I just came from there, so uh, let's just uh, let's just proceed. No, we could just proceed. I, I, sir, time to do this. What is this going to be? Probably an interesting cutscene? Look there! Huh? What's happening? Oh my god. It is time to re uh, to meet the beautiful robot. After conducting an internal analysis, I have identified a technical error. All errors must be eliminated. Come with us. We will set you I into faculty condition. Hi. Understood. What? Don't go along with them. Is that the robot from the trailer? Wow, she really does look like Aegis. And more importantly, they said they're going to format her. Uh, I kind of want to see what happens, but I guess we should probably rescue her. Right, we can't let that happen to her. Yeah. Wait, we need to go about this with more cautious. They haven't noticed us yet. Let's see what happens first, then... No way, this is an opportunity! We can get this job on them right now! Of course! You just wanna beat the shit out of them. Stop charging into things without trying to use your two brain cells. Only two? That's bad, Akihiko. We need to go to do some studying. What was that? Please two stop. We don't have time for this. Then let's make it a competition. How quickly do you think you could take down those robots? <laughs> it wouldn't take three minutes. So long. Come on, if you make it on, it's dead. I'll do it in one. Then I'm gonna do it in 30 seconds. Your mouth better not be writing checks that your fists can sh- uh can cash oh my god the challenge is on get back here Chinji I'm not letting you get a head start you're serious right now you sure know how to play them 
like a fiddle. <laughs> yeah, it happens all the time, so I know exactly how to handle their competition. Good heavens, they act like children in the world as in your world as well. Yeah. Well, in any case, thank you for diffusing that situation. I don't really call that diffusion. Actually, right now they are charging at the robots and we probably should back them up, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Four of them. Suspicious individual detected. We may be uh, competing here. But you better not let your guard down, Jindy. You two are not even in my team. Who do you think you're talking to? Let's hurry up and trash these things. You guys aren't in my party. First of all... Marzio. I don't have Marzio. That's bad. So, Rebel Vanguard. Masukunda. Uh, yeah, you can use Mind Strike, Deflecting Shot, and Poisma? Poisma. Why not? It could work, right? But we, I really need to get some CEO skills on my team. Ah, come on! Because I can't rely all the time on my Megiddo and other skills. You hit my dog? Are you crazy? Look at this! The crit is real! You know what that is? Now you get a Megiddo. Are you even prepared for this? Uh, wait. Well, I think. Oh, let's try this. Megido. Bufu. Mopsy. Well, this is going to take a while before I kill them all. Especially since I can't hit any status elements. Oh well, right? Heat the wave! Let's go! Even though it's resistant, it's actually still powerful! Don't do that! Don't do that! Ah! Reflecting shot! Uh, I think I might want to use mini recovery. Okay, raise a firelink. Negido, we're gonna use a uh, media for everyone. And Mapufu. Alright, Pufula. Uh, I think we should probably focus down one first and then take care of the rest. Just so that they don't use four attacks each turn. Which is super annoying. Especially if they have the, I the crazy idea to attack me all the time and kill me. Since I only can endure once each battle. Come on. Let's see if I'm lucky. Eh, not quite. Leave my dog alone! What the hell is wrong with you? And leave me alone! Did I just say I only have one endure? Okay, I guess uh, Joker needs to guard a few times. Which is kinda annoying, but okay. Uh, the Aram on him. Ufula on him. And that should probably take care of at least one robot, right? There we go. Ufula. Please. Not quiet. Not quiet. Harrow's a god again. No! That's fine. 
I hate you. You're so dead. Okay, uh, God, more Megiddo. You're gonna become our little doggy and. Well, Mobile Fuller. It's really draining our SP on her, but we kinda need to do it. Come on, Kuramaru! Oh, Haru, you're way too good for this team. Look at how many times you block. Just. Too good. Especially with deflecting shot and Masukunda. It's really crazy. Uh, firing. Megido. Deflecting shot and Mobufula. Come on. Do it a little bit quicker. Since they have quite a lot of, H lot of HP. Okay, this one is close to dead. How? The third block? The third block? Are you serious? <laughs> She's way too good. Way too good. Still keep up guards. One more Megiddo. You can just attack. More Buffula. You know what? I think afterwards I kinda might wanna go back to the town and uh, I mean the theater and uh, recover some SP since they actually drained quite a lot of her. How much does she have? Six? Six SP? It's really bad. And Hara only has 24. Which is decent since she's going to recover a little bit after the fight. But still, it's kind of ridiculous. Let's use this. Place your edge. Guillotine. And that should take care of it, right? Right? Firing. There we go. Perfect. So, are you fine? Yes, we took them all down. Arr? Oh my god, I love you, Kuromaru. Hey, what about that robot? Is she alright? I think she's confused about the whole situation. Hey, are you okay? I'm glad we made it here in time. Who are you? I did not request assistance. Huh? I should have been formatted according to the t determined pro uh, procedure. What? Why are you saying that? Getting formatted is basically the same as dying. It's a complete reboot. Do you even know what that means to you? I am different from the other units. My thought progress has become abnormal. I am an irreg irregularity riddled with errors. I have become a defect unit. What's so bad about it? Score. Defective. All you did was realize that you like flowers, right? Yeah. How did you know that? We saw it in a trailer, but you don't need to know that. I don't really want to explain it all, uh, all right now, but uh, we saw you in it. Why do you say that to her? I don't think she's going to understand that. Trailer? <laughs> Anyways, you don't need to be formatted. Stop calling yourself an irregularity just because there's something different about you. But that is what our overseer has decreed. My only role as a unit is to obey him. But you can also do that if you are yourself, right? And who is this so-called overseer? We might want to have a talk with him. The one who guided us towards what we should be. That is who determines my meaning to exist. Talk about total control over everyone. You take care of all that nonsense. 
Now she's even more confused with Tava. Excuse me, do you know a robot named, uh, named Aegis? She looks quite similar to you. Also a boy with an armband on. He has long bangs that covers up one of his eyes. Okay. Yeah. No, I haven't seen no humans. I see. But at least they know about humans. That's already a, already a purpose. However, I did see a robot with a ribbon. It was the same color as my own. Marty. Oh, that gotta be I, John. Would you happen to know where that robot went? Hi. She has been deemed a security threat and taken to the lab up ahead. Marty. A threat? <sighs> we are all in deep perdida if we don't hurry to the lab. Indeed, let's move out at once. Wait, what are we gonna do with that robot? We could hide her somewhere safe. That sounds like a good idea. If she stays here, more robots are most likely going to show up and capture her. But I can't find any place nearby that are safe enough for her. Then why don't we serve as her escort? If any trouble is to befall this precious bot, I shall protect her as her prince charming teddy bear <laughs> yeah i'm sure she'll be helpful oh maybe she can guide us to the lab Pfft. come on futaba we have used a navi do we really need a guide i have not been designed as a guide see she can't do it she's basically saying that but you know where the lab is right all you have to do is take us there but performing actions outside of our established parameters is nah. another error, huh? Hmm? I'm a kin if it's your will to get wiped. Or if you are just going along with it because that's someone else's side. My will? I do not understand. Why do you wish- oh, oh my god. Why do you wish to protect me? Well, there's the fact that you look like Aegis. She's our companion. But I guess it's more like we want you to value your ability to cherish things. I should value this ability, but it's an error. You are irregularly. Why? Why do I want to cherish flowers? In this wanting to know why? Is this also a feeling? Yeah, basically yes. Why don't you come with us to the lab? You may be able to find the answer there. That sounds like your best option. At this rate, you're going to wind up getting formatted, right? So you might as well let your feeling guide you. You are not making any sense to her. Very well, I will go with you. I want to satisfy this feeling of wanting to know why. <laughs> that takes care of that. <laughs> Don't worry, if you suffer any malfunction on the way, I'll dissemble. What? Don't even think about doing that. You'll do what? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Uh, what I meant was, all's well that ends well if nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, we found a robot that seems to be the key to this movie. That's one of our goals checked. You know, I've been wondering, can you fight? Probably not. Yeah. No, I have no battle function. Please remember this. <laughs> Don't worry. All you gotta do is follow us, since I'm also not a fighter. <laughs> yeah, leave the fighting to us. <laughs> You're bringing me along, even though I cannot fight? You do not benefit from this, so why? Um, there are hidden benefits you might not understand, but you are basically our key outside of this world. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> True, I can see at least serve as a shield. That was not my point, you are the key! You are the key to our salvation! No living shields! Nobody asks you to do that! Just follow us, okay? Wait, going back to the move here does fine for us, but what about her? She probably isn't able to leave the movie. Now that you mention it, can she leave this movie? 
have no idea whether or not there would be any ill side effects on her. Precision machinery is very delicate. We shouldn't bring her around any setting that she's not designed for. So should we try to hide her somewhere? Oh, but what if she got caught by our security robots? If this concerns you, I believe there's a solution. I should not be identified. But due to the security board sensors is suspending my operation. So basically, you're going to shut yourself down. Suspending your operation, do you mean power down? Yeah. No, I have a sleep mode. I am able to temporarily and harmlessly suspend operation. Oh, that sounds useful. Then I shall go ahead and activate... Hey, 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 hey. Don't fiddle with her settings without permission, especially you! Even if you're able to avoid their sensors, I'm concerned about just leaving you here in the open. Why don't you take cover somewhere before engaging sleep mode? Sorry. I agree. That definitely sounds like it would be safer. Well, our next goal is to find the remaining members of Seas. Let's go! And where is she going to hide? I didn't explain that at all. Oh well, let me get this out of the way. And I'm going back to the theater really quickly just to get some SP. What the hell? What? Initialization complete. Good morning, everyone. Oh, she really turned herself off during my time in the theater. Oh, looks like you help, uh, held up just fine. What a relief. Hi. Yes, I'm fine. There were no issues. Uh, she should be able to use this feature whenever we need to return to the movie theater. So, yeah. Yes, she will be safe and will be able to prepare for the next venture without any worries. Now that we put that concern to rest, shall we proceed onward? Yes, and I'm going to skip ahead to the main door. So, and we are back, and I should probably switch to the map screen as well. The golden treasure chest! It's been such a long time! How are you? I see I still miss a lot of space. I will not spend that many coins. I don't even have a single coin. How do you... Ah, oh, the game. This game. So if I see it right, there was a door right over here. Should look like this. And uh, well, those guys have some pretty annoying skills. Especially the CEO skill. And I have no idea about the weaknesses, so uh, yeah. This is going to be uh, fun. You might want to guard. And you're gonna use Mahufu just in case I have a weakness. It's not light. It's Mahufu! Oh, you guys are going to have a problem. Not this turn, but the next turn. At least. Matters holy old. Eh. Mind strike. I was worried for a second. So, I guess, now that we have done that, it's about time that we absolutely destroy them. Mabufu. Mabufu. That should probably rip them apart, right? Perfect. The XP is so good! And Reese's sub persona is slowly gaining level. Once she reads 2 level, I'm finally able to fuse again. Oh, a sword shot. I don't really need that one. Bye. And regeneration 1. 
I'm not sure if I actually need that skill, but it's good to know that I have that as well. So first of all, the doors to the left, uh, to the right. If I go to the left, the FOE on the other side is going to activate. But that's fine. Because I can just enter this door here. What's this? Not accessible. Okay. Oh, we have the the funny time with the security gates again. Plus pink. Pink. This one is probably yellow. So let's switch it up. Then it goes around. This one is going to be pink. As well as this one. Right? Yes. Let's check this side first. Since I can already see a... Uh, Oh god, wait. Psycho and Agi. So let's use Heat Wave. Agi. Seo. Mabufu. Mabufu. And that should probably. Probably kill them all, right? Hopefully. Under normal circumstances, at least. If Haru would be so kind to attack before, before the cape guy is attacking. Or like this, I mean, that's also fine. That's the first time I see that. Oh my god. You poor thing. You poor thing. Destroyed the rare one! <laughs> Heat wave! <laughs> oh, the base is. They barely survived this. No! No, don't do it! Okay, fine. That's fine. They are, aren't able to do it in, on the same turn, at least. Now that I have the boost state. I could just use media, right? Yeah, and then another Mugufu, and that should probably take care of them, right? Please, before I die, stupid dead. Okay. Oh, this arm. Do I have a bad person I can. Yeah. There we go. It's always good to have one persona that I can just throw out every time I get a better one. Just in order to get it in my registration. So, first we have a yellow door right over here. Then we have a door over there. I cannot go backwards. Check out the right side first. This one has to be yellow. Then it goes around. Okay, wait. Those guys have Agi. Let's try to run. Kurumaru, I know you can do it. Yes, I knew it. Kurumaru is perfect for running away. But I should probably... Might get that skill with... Uh, well... The smoke bomb, I think it was called, right? Anyways, uh, this is the spot with the FOE. 
me take care of it so I can get to the shortcuts. This is all. I have three turn this turn, right? So. But the Vanguard. Rakunda. Trip it down. Garula and. Do I even want to attempt to get this poison? I know it's not going to work, but every time I have the feeling I just, I just want to try it. At least once. I'm unlucky most of the time, but I should at least attempt it. If I get the chance. Come on! Maybe for once I'm lucky. Not a chance. It's so annoying. Triple down. There, a crit. Know what it means? This is going to hurt. Wait. Uh, support. Any recovery. This is going to hurt even more. Come on! One, two, three. Oh my god! Joker! Joker, you're going ham on them! That's the second fusion skill on this part! What the hell? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm happy to see them, especially since they're quite powerful. What? How can that be? That's not how it works! Kurumawa isn't supposed to miss! And that's also actually pretty bad. Nuclear Link! Yay! You know what? Vanguard! Akunda! You're gonna use media. You're gonna use Garula and another Pufula. Since we need our Vanguard back and Rakunda. Come on. Too bad that I am not able to get any. Oh, all out attacks. I mean. I hate you. Well, I have Endure and Joker, so one attack should be fine, right? Nuclear Link, you're gonna use Masukunda. Triple down. Garula. Bufula. Oh, that's bad. That's bad! That's really bad! Haha! <laughs> Bufula! Come on! Oh my god! How? How did you even survive that? Uh, a media for everyone. And another Bufula. No, if Joker would be so suicidal most of the time, I wouldn't have this problem right now. You know that. Power charge again? Are you crazy? As if I'm going to allow this. Come on, Haru. Please kill it. For oh my god, Joker, what the hell? Don't do this to me! Every time! Every time it's the same thing with you! First you kill yourself, now you try to kill my dog? Ooh, what's this? Is? Mm, I don't have you yet, so bye bye, Pelle. Hi, flower guy.
Okay, now that that thing is dead, I'm able to go through here to this side and check this door really quickly and get this shortcut after this podcast. That sound. Is this gonna be another overseer announcement? <sighs> What's the deal now? Malfunction unit UIV 2249 has been circumvented standard formation procedure and is evading capture. Disposal of it is immediate. Oh my god. Dispose of it immediately upon discovery. The same fates await any unit who does not share our disposed situation. Uh, another pun! Another pun! This guy keeps dropping the lamest jokes in his speeches! What are you saying, Yosuke? You're supposed to laugh like all the robots! We are all programmed to laugh at them. Ah, that really sucks. <laughs> Wait, aren't you supposed to be laughing it up? And dispose us to them? My circus has been blocked, uh, blocked his orders. Also, I was never provided with any combat function, so I am incapable of attacking anyone. By the way, he said something about UIV whatever. What was that? Hi. UIV2249, this is my unit, identification number. Oh, so he already knows about the existence. So the say, uh, it's the same as what was assigned to us, TK something and YS something. The system manages each unit through the combination of model type and ID number. To, uh, no two units can be assigned the same unit's identification number. Numeric identification, huh? That would certainly help to oppress individuality within the society. But then again, they all have their own numbers, so... Uh... Nah. So does that mean you don't have a name beside the UIV thing? I, I do not. Anyways, uh, I mean, oh, <laughs> why don't we give her a name then? Calling her ID number seems somewhat rude and boring, and I probably will never remember that number. Uh. Yeah, great idea. Do you have any suggestion? Uh, Becky. Why not? Uh. What? What's wrong with Becky? Is there some origin to that name? No, no, nope, no, let's just not use that name. Why? What, what is your problem with Becky? Let's make it sound cute, too. Oh, how about pudding? I prefer almond jelly over pudding. It's also a white desert, which is much more fitting. I don't mean to shut up the convo here, but can't we just agree on a single, regularly fitting name? Ribbon. How about Ribbon? Oh, come on, that's boring. We should probably ask her, but come on, why would we call her Ribbon? That's... <sighs> You're right, so how do you feel about... Why do you... Are you still on about Ribbon? I said Becky. Ribbon. There are no issues. I like it. What? Yes! You really like it? If she finds the name agreeable, then it's decided. From here on out, you are now... Becky! I am Becky. Yes, Becky. That name is way higher tier than any lame code name, right? Yes. Thank you very much. Well... Never let it dispose of you, alright, Becky? Just come with us. From here, uh, but for her to truly be safe in this movie, we probably need to do something about the Overseer. In any case, let's head over to the lab next. You're right. Let's pick up the pace. With Becky, okay? She is Becky. Since I decided Becky. <laughs> Oh man, I, but I still want to know what Morgana is with the name Becky. There has to be some hidden meaning. Anyways, I'm going to make a cut here. I hope you guys had fun doing this part. 
and in the next part we're going to probably reach the third floor. So until then!